Hello, Perfect Death here, and this is one of these fairly interesting games that I started recently playing. And I think it's War for Elysium 5. And it's this like turn based strategy kind of game. It's not really too much on the strategy, it's more on the RPG style of it. And I'm currently playing as a Cthulhu sort of cult group. And like I've got my cultist guys here. They can use these rituals that you use a sacrifice resource that I can gather up. And like I can contact elder beings or do a ceremony uh, in the deep. I can't do that right now because they need to be standing in the deep sea in order to do that. And they might successfully summon some uh, deep sea creatures that might choose to attack me. It's they're, they're kind of RNG like that and if you get lucky you can start summoning some pretty strong characters. So uh, this army here with Aten, this is actually a basalt queen and she's a deep one, fairly strong one. I've upgraded her from a princess to a queen She's got a mix of hydromancy and void magic, and I also gave her some accessories as well. Inside of her army, <clears throat> there's a king that I just recently summoned and made. So he's currently hasn't had any combat yet. But then I got a void lord, which is a really expensive ritual to do and very risky because these things are absolutely crazy strong. And if they decide to attack you when you summon them, they'll probably just wipe you out and then run around and wipe out everybody else, which is kind of a meme, I guess. You could you could just have your cultists run out and near the enemy, summon one of these things, and then if you fail to summon it, well, then at least it's your enemy's problem and not yours, at least for a while. But these things, you, um, they're immortal outside of the Void Realm, right? So right now they're in Elysium, and so there's, there's some planes that they would be able to interact with that they would be immortal to. If they die, they just go back to the Void. Um, I've also got this guy here, the King in Yellow. Um, he's also a very strong guy. His thing seems to be more about summoning, um, but he does have a pretty strong you know, ability to do void magic there. But the really crazy one is over here. I have three, I'm fighting the last of the AI factions. Um, one of them got wiped out early on. He was the barbarians. He got killed by some random... Um, the independent factions, the which are actually quite strong, they're these gray things. Um, they tend to be quite powerful, and he got wiped out by one of them. I killed the Dryad Queen, and this guy killed the Senator. And so he's about to fight this Eldritch Abomination. And there's a good reason why this army has no melee units in the front ranks, right? So these are all ranged units behind him. He's considered a front ranker, but he has this death gaze ability that's a wide cone and it just kills everything in front of it. So he's essentially killed off all of his melee units. I, I try to like summon, or I get some cheap guys in the front lines, but eh. he just kept um, killing them within like two battles. He'd wipe out his own melee lines, so. Uh huh. This guy, I was thinking about bringing him in, but he's got a bunch of melee units, and I'd rather they not get deleted. So let's go and try out. Okay, he went over there. So I've got one army up in the north fighting an army, a bunch of deer. So as the combat goes along, you see those little actions being taken, and you can speed them up. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Crossbows, they 
you'll hear them they hit every second after they shoot they have to reload um, the farm there we go this is the one I wanted to see so my assassins did their move and then there's this death ray you just basically deleted one of the uh, knights in the middle there and then just deleted a bunch of more He's got a melee attack. He's got four melee attacks, and each of them do life steal. He also has natural HP regeneration. I gave him a accessory that gives him cold immunity and a frost shield, and he's got a ring for giving him extra magic resistance and armor. So this is a tanky boy. Lots of health, regens, life steals. So yeah. You can see the knights are pretty much wiped out right there. My back line of archers is just peppering away at everybody. And eventually, they'll just pick these poor knights apart. This guy, he got paralyzed. Um, oh, and <laughs> she just, um, the Scarlet Sister did that. I think that was her. Yeah, she did soul slay. And I just one shot him. And there we go, just deleted a bunch of more stuff. And then everything around him, he just ate. So this thing, I got really lucky that he didn't uh, turn on me because he would have wiped me out. And then he would have just proceeded to wipe out everybody else that he could see. And it would have been a, a threat, but he's under my control. So hooray for that, I guess. The guy who leads this army is actually Libar, the captain. And I've been just tossing gear onto him as uh, this Eldritch Abomination murders everything. I get the uh, the magic items from them, and I just toss them onto him. So he's got like a mace of a mace of pain, which if he hits somebody, he does extra magic damage. He's got this uh, meter of splendor from a priest, which gives him awe and fire damage immunity, and the awe is like. Makes it so if people melee attack him, they have to do a morale test. He's got armor for five more HP, and then gloves for another five HP. So he's essentially got ten extra health on them, and that's that's big. He's essentially double his health pool just from that. So I've just been like storing him. Um, this guy's pretty funny. He's an old weapons master. He's usually just a swordsman who sits in the mid rank. But I gave him this wand of fire because I noticed he does three weapon attacks. And so when you give him a wand, he switches his wand for him for the or his sword for the wand. And so then every turn he'll do three magic attacks with fire bolts. So that's what he did. He just shot fire bolts <laughs> at everything. So uh, I've turned the guy into a, a wizard, which is pretty neat. Um, this ice witch, I've, I had to reload a battle once because she just killed her whole army because she used this hailstorm skill. And for a while she wasn't using it, but then one battle, a big battle, she started doing it and it just hits everybody one to four damage. She actually killed herself after like casting this three times and yeah cold resist she's got this which is like an aoe cold resistance but this is um blunt damage so she can't even resist it <laughs> and here we go his melee line is trying to get to my archers. I think they might be able to if I speed it up. Let's see if they can get catch. Yeah, they're gonna get some guys in melee range. Whoa! Oh, that was close. <laughs> he almost got deleted. Uh -huh. Oh wait, what happened to him? So he's poisoned and they net him. Okay. an impressive net feels like I build a lock oh jeez he's aiming down <laughs> oh 
this guy's really lucky he didn't get annihilated from that. Yeah, this abomination is big time friendly fire damage. Oh, and oh, she almost got deleted, but it did delete the mage that I had here. So that's a rough fight right there. Oh! God, that laser beam. So if I, if I actually check the stats on this, I lost 19 people, right? Scarlet Sister was one of them. Um, I lost 11 archers, 5 crossbowmen, 2 scouts, right? And if you look at him, he only killed 7 people. So that means, if you look at the difference, right, he killed... <laughs> he killed most of my my uh ca my losses were just from this guy zapping friendly troops. Um, Scarlet Sister, bit of a shame, because she's a, a mage. Usually she stays far enough back, but he just started aiming too far into my own lines. And then, yeah, then there's this town fight here. Catapults get the. Uh, they can actually be used during sieges. They'll do like five attacks. I actually want to kill this guy because then I can get his uh, items. This is like regen and poison immunity. Gives you a chest wound, which is kind of interesting, I guess. Uh, but he also has armor and a wraith crown. This group has some of these elder things that I summoned and I just kind of tossed them in here because they're slow. And the catapult is slow, so I expect these guys to not survive the fight. Yeah. These things do detonate and self-destruct when they die. But because they're on a wall, it doesn't do too much. AI who actually attacked this spot, he beelined it, like he went, grabbed that, then he immediately jumped into there and then attacked the, the town there, so I wasn't able to respond to him very quickly. I'm trying to move this army up here to go get him, but one, two, three, but you can see he's quite far away, so he might try and run. Now this guy, he is my, I gave him this wand of combustion so he can burn forests. That's actually what I did right here. This used to be a sacred grove, which you couldn't stop it from spawning um, neutral beasts. Um, so up here there's actually one. And so that's why there's this place is just covered with hostile animals. So I'm probably going to have him move up there. Uh, let's see. Let's have that move there. And yeah, that's just a nothing garrison there. And I think I want you. Yeah, I'll have them cover the assassin just in case he tries to run back through here. I don't want him killing my assassin and taking my item. And this guy... I think I was going to... Yeah, I think I was going to have him meet up with this. Maybe. What was he going to do? Oh yeah, I wanted to do some uh, rituals. Let's see, you, there's ten deers, three bears, yeah, let's go murder that, and we'll just wait. Yeah, 
we'll see how this fight goes. Oh, yeah, of course he ran. And there's a fight with a bunch of deer. And then the fight in the town. There's a meteor. That meteor missed. His charm failed. Oh, there's another meteor. By the way, this guy's the one who's casting the meteor. But he keeps missing. <laughs> oh, I managed to convert two people at the end there. Neat. And... I was going to have these guys go into the water here. And they're, they're going to try to do some uh, summoning. Let's see. Um, I don't... Yeah, that's good. I want him to keep those guys there. Because this is an amphibian army, so that it can go on into the water. And... Let's go check that out. Do some scouting. Now, this guy ran up there. So, one, two, and let's go take that over. Okay, that's where he's running. He's running away. One, two, and take that back, and go stand there. So if he does try to go back through the gate, he will run right smack into this horrible army and be murdered. And there are, just because I mentioned it, there's a bunch of different planes up at the top here. There's these different little buttons. And currently I've only got Elysium as the... Um, as the plane that I have and there's different ones which I haven't discovered well I, I know I have two routes to the sky realm one here and one here I'm pretty sure this one also this goes to the sky realm as well I just know mountain spire lets you get access to the cloud realm I'm pretty sure the rainbow does too um, then there's like the infernal realm there's a couple of other realms as well i haven't been to i've been to inferno accidentally before by getting a hades journey scroll or something like that a scroll that teleports you to um the infernal realm and got horribly murdered because i uh, i misclicked right what i did was i wanted to like use special power but if you have an item that you can consume It'll pop up as a button on the bottom, and so I went to go use a special power, and I accidentally clicked the uh, go to hell scroll. So that didn't end very well for them. So I will leave it like that. Take care.